everybody, it's Mrs. Dawson here again, back on our Google Classroom, and happy Thursday. Um, our theme today is going to center around pirates, so if you have any books at home or anything at home that's kind of related to that aspect, um, join us in some of these activities. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our Zoophonic song, and then we will um, describe today's activities a little more in depth. Okay, here we go. Sing it with me. Here we go! Alley Alligator says ah, ah. A. Baba Bear says b, b. B. Katina Cat says k, k, C. Dee Dee Deer says d, d. D. Alley Elephant says ah, ah. E. Francie Fish says f, f. F. Gordo Gorilla says k. G. Honey Horse says ha, ha. H. Annie Inchworm says eh, eh. I. Jerry Jellyfish says j, j. J. K.O. Kangaroo says k, k. K. Lizzie Lizard says ooh, ooh. L. Missy Mouse says mmm. M. Nigel Night Owl says, mm, mm. N. Olive Octopus says, ah, ah. O. Pee Wee Penguin says, p, p. P. Queenie Quail says, qu, qu. Q. Robbie Rabbit says, r, r. R. Sammy Snake says, s. S. Timothy Tiger says, t. T. Umber Umbrella Bird says, ah, ah. U. Vincent Vampire Bat says, hmm, hmm. V. Willie Weasel says, what, what. W. Xavier Fox says, x, x. X. Yancy Yak says, y, y. Y. Z Zebra says, z, z. Z. You did it! You learned all the sounds. Now, practice. Very good. You guys always do such a great job practicing that with me. Okay, so looking at our at-home learning packet, we are on week eight, and today we are on our pirates theme for today. So we have six different act activity choices to do at home um, that kind of incorporate all of these areas that we would do in our classroom. So for reading, I'm gonna be posting a book, a fun, silly book about pirates. And that's a good one to listen to. It'll, it'll be, the link will be on our Google Classroom. And as you go through that story, think about the characters and think about the events that happened um, throughout the story. So what happened first, at the beginning of the story, what happened in the middle of the story, and then what happened at the very end. And um, it's important too when you're going through and trying to remember a story that you can also turn the pages while you do that. So it's not all just based on your memory and what you remembered, but also using that text too to see, um, to kind of spark ideas about what you may have forgotten about the story. For letters and sounds, um, a fun thing to do is to think about um, the p, p, p sound and to make a list of words that begin with that letter P. So try to think of it as many words as you can, list them all out, um, maybe draw pictures of the items too, so if you know that p, Pumpkin starts with a P, you could draw a pumpkin and maybe write the letter P next to it. For math, using your sorting board um, in the back of our packet, you can sort pirate treasures, so just coins that you may have at home, um, sort them based by their size. So you put them in different categories based on how um, large they are or how small they are. For fine motor, um, you can use those coins again to create your letters and shapes. So using some of the pages at the back for packet, using those coins to put them on our letters and our um, shapes to practice those would be gr a great activity. For art or sensory, if you have a brown paper bag at home um, or something similar like that, if you don't have the bag, maybe you have the paper you can use to create a pirate map or treasure map on the back. Um, try to be creative in mapping out your house and where it might be located within your house or maybe it's in your backyard and where would that pirate treasure be located. And then for your STEM challenge, a really fun challenge is to try to build 
a pirate boat or just a boat um, that can hold 10 pennies. So if you think about 10 pennies, that's pretty heavy. So you have to design your boat in order to keep the water out so it can float and so that it can withstand that weight, that um, 10 penny weight. So maybe using materials such as foil is a great one. Um, cardboard tubes if you have it. Paper sometimes works really well too. Um, try to design that boat and see what you can make float and how many pennies you can get on. Maybe you can get past 10 pennies and maybe you can get to 15. See how much weight that boat can withstand once you build it, okay? So I will be posting the read aloud again on our YouTube for you to listen to today. And I will see you back here um, on tomorrow, Friday. Bye.